Hello everyone and welcome to another video. So today I wanted to take you along with me on another hike to the Eagle Peak Trail in the Mount Rainier National Park. So let me show you where this is. I'll just pull up Google Maps and as you can see uh, it is about two hours from Seattle um, and as we mentioned it's located here in the Mount Rainier National Park. Specifically you are going to want to enter the park through the kind of southwest corner through the uh, Nisqually entrance. Let me see if we zoom in right here. Yeah, you can see the Nisqually entrance right here, where you'll go for a few more miles into the park until you reach uh, Longmire. And as you can see right here, Longmire is uh, right where the Longmire Inf Wilderness Information Center and the Longmire Museum is located. And you can end up parking right here near these information centers, or as I'll show you in a couple of minutes, you can actually drive in a little bit further across this really neat suspension bridge and park really close to the Eagle Peak Trailhead. So that's where we're headed. Um, before we actually go on to the hike, I think it would be worth mentioning um, as we discussed earlier you're going to enter the Mount Rainier National Park here at the Nisqually entrance and I would highly 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 recommend getting an early start to get through the entrance here at a fairly early hour for in fact here's some uh, dash cam footage as I rolled into the park around I think 7 a.m. and as you can see it, there's there's literally no line this was a Saturday uh, morning um, and on a busy, you know, beautiful weekend in mid-July where the park is uh, probably going to be fairly crowded later in the day. And as you can see, I'm just breezing right through the entrance. There's not even a ranger there to check my park pass. Now, if you contrast that with here's what it looks like uh, a couple hours later as I was leaving the park. Uh, through this exact same entrance after finishing the hike. If you look at this, uh, look at this line of cars. It is, I don't even want to guess how long. These people are going to be sitting here waiting for, you know, I wouldn't be surprised for an hour or two just to get into the park. So again, you're going to want to get a early start to, uh, to, to your hike if you're going to want to get into the park and not have to wait in lines for a ton of time. Um, to help facilitate that, here's a shameless plug. I actually did another video on the Sahara Creek Horse Camp, which is a free campground really close to this Nisqually entrance that uh, you might want to think about camping at the night before so you can get a nice, bright, early start uh, on your day to get to the Eagle Peak Trail. Um, while we're talking about this, like we mentioned, uh, it is up here at Longmire. That's where you start the trail, and you can actually even see it here on Google Maps. It's got a little uh, outline. Uh, in fact, maybe instead of looking at this, though, on Google Maps, let's go over here to All Trails, and I'll show you the same location. So again, here's Longmire. Uh, here's the, the suspension bridge across the river, and here's the trailhead. So as you can see, the this hike is going to be a little over seven miles round trip with a little more than 3,000 feet uh, vertical gain. You go through a bunch of switchbacks as you can see here and what's really interesting about this hike is that the actual hike is going to end um, up here on what's kind of called the Eagle Peak Saddle. In fact I think if you uh, go to Washington Trails Association you'll see some people refer to this hike as the Eagle Peak Saddle instead uh, instead of the actual Eagle Peak. The reason being is we're going to see later, uh, the trail doesn't actually go all the way up to the peak. It goes sort of on this saddle, which is between Eagle Peak and Chutla Peak on the other side. And as you're going to see later in the video, this is a little bit sketchy up here. So the main trail ends somewhere on the saddle, which is below Eagle Peak. Um, all right, so that's enough preamble. With that being said, why don't we jump over and I'll show you what the, uh, the parking lot uh, looks like before hitting the trail. All right, so here we are. I decided to actually start at the uh, main Longmire parking lot. Um, as you can see right over here is the uh, Longmire Museum. And I don't know if you can see it through the trees or actually it's really cool. There's this over 700 year old uh, tree trunk <laughs> that they have on display. Um, it's pretty neat. Uh, and across the street, you can see the Longmire um, Wilderness Information Center. And as you can see right now, uh, the parking lot is not too full. But again, uh, I got up pretty early. It's uh, it's 7 a.m., <laughs> so not too many people in the park. Um, again, I decided to park down here, which is, again, the main parking lot. So there's going to be a lot of people here. Um, and I'm going to walk the quarter, it's a little bit more than a quarter mile 
um, to get to the actual trailhead. And I'll show you why I wanted to do that in a second. Um, but yeah, so we're just going to walk up through kind of the employee housing area. And uh, we'll hope we get to a little neat suspension bridge in just a second. All right, so here we are just about five minutes from the... Uh, the car in the main Longmire parking lot and look at this we're here at this super cool suspension bridge and this is again why I wanted to park down there and walk across this you can definitely you can drive across this there are cars that you'll see going across this um, as they're going to the main parking lot but look at this this is pretty cool huh All right, and as you can see here, right across the other side of the suspension bridge, there's a few parking spots. Um, there's also a few parking spots further down the road. So again, that's a nice little trick. Um, if you, if the parking lot at Longmire is filled up, you can drive across the suspension bridge and head over here to park. Um, but as you can see, it's a lot more secluded, not as many people. Um, and here you go. Here's the here's the trailhead. So it looks like. Got about 3.6 miles to go to get to the top uh, to the saddle, and uh, we're at about I think around 3,000 feet. So we're gonna just start climbing. So uh, let's head on up. All right, so I think we're about halfway up, and here's this cool little bridge and stream. Well, it's uh, late July and still uh, near the top, look at this, still got some snow. Um, but otherwise, the trail looks pretty good. And I guess here's some of those uh, famous Mount Rainier wildflowers. So, uh, let's keep going, we're almost at the top. All right, so we're coming up on it. Some of the first sort of open areas on this whole hike is when you get near the top. Um, but yeah, <laughs> this is steep. They're not kidding around. And also the thing that's actually interesting about this is the bugs are out of control. Huh. Boy, so make sure you bring lots of bug spray <laughs> when you're going up these sections. All right, we made it to the top. Uh, well, not quite the top of Eagle Peak, but at least to the top of the saddle. As you can see over here, here's a sign where it says this is basically the end of the maintained <laughs> trail. So there's a couple options. So. Um, as you're walking up, if you turn to the left, you'll see here that there is sort of a mini trail where I've seen people kind of scramble up to the top of Eagle Peak. I'll walk over here just to show you. Um, I'm not going to climb the whole thing because A, uh, I didn't bring any gear, I don't have a helmet, um, and actually more importantly, I didn't bring a partner, <laughs> so it's just me, so I don't think I should be doing anything that involves any uh, scrambling or climbing. But I'll just walk a little ways to show you what it sort of looks like. <laughs> you know, you can kind of see, you can climb up here, but um, I don't think you want to do it without a partner or any other kind of equipment. So, oh, this is kind of neat. Look at that. I think you, is that Longmire down there in the valley? It's pretty neat. So anyway, why don't we head um, over across the saddle, as you can see there. We can see if we can get over to Chupla or Chupla, <laughs> Chutla, or I can't remember, I don't know how you pronounce it. But uh, the next peak, if we climb across the saddle, I think we can get over there. And it's actually a little bit higher, apparently, I think, than Eagle Peak. All right, so as that sign was saying earlier, it said to uh, please travel safely, uh, causing minimal impact beyond the end of the maintained trail. And now I know why. <laughs> um, so I'm walking along, and uh, so far it's been pretty reasonable. There's like this quasi-marked uh, trail where you're just walking on rocks, and you're not stepping on anything. But now you come to this section, <laughs> and 
Look at this. You have to kind of climb down the side of that ridge <laughs> before going across there. You can see, boy, look at that, that tree that fell across it. Um, before continuing on over to Chutla Peak. So, you know what? Again, uh, in the interest of being safe and staying alive, since I'm here by myself with no gear, uh, this is as far as I'm going to go. <laughs> but uh, anyway, it's, it's pretty. So, even though we didn't make it to the top of uh, Eagle Peak or Chutla Peak due to uh, lack of having a safety partner with you, it's still beautiful. Look at this. You look down in the valley here on the uh, on the northern side, and yeah, there's still snow down there. It's very pretty. So, yeah, again, this this section here that goes from the end of the main tan trail towards Chutla Peak. Let's walk backwards towards the uh, Eagle Peak trailhead uh, or the top of it, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. As you can kind of see, it's just rocks that you're walking along, but it's definitely on the sort of quasi unmarked side of things. So for example, you come over here, and here's one of the sections that I, I kind of had to climb down, and now we're going to have to climb back up it. And you can kind of see why this is not an official I mean, trail. Is <laughs> Look at this, you're going to climb up this rock. So I'm not going to do this with one hand, so let's put the camera away and we'll get back to the Eagle Peak section. So I decided to walk back towards Eagle Peak and climb a little ways up just to get a better look at the amazing views you get from the top. As you can see from up here you've got a great vantage point and you're able to see a lot of the Mount Rainier National Park and it's absolutely stunning. Now that being said uh, I'm not actually at the top of Eagle Peak as I mentioned earlier and that's maybe something to chat about right now is if I came back here I would definitely want to bring somebody to come with me and if you are trying to get all the way to the top of eagle peak again this is nothing that i'm advocating doing but as you can see from this experience uh i would have probably think about bringing gear like uh harnesses ropes uh, helmet things like that and and like i mentioned earlier probably the most important thing is come with a friend <laughs> or someone that can help you out uh but for me just climbing a little ways up uh affords you these beautiful views and i think this is good enough for my purposes I guess it's time to bust out the hiking poles and start heading back. Uh, I guess we'll look for some of the some more wildflowers on the way down. I guess I, there weren't as many as I thought there might be. I guess maybe we're too early in the season. Um, but what there are is there's a lot of these bugs. Look at this. Look at this. I got two mosquitoes just sitting here as I've stopped to film this. I think at one point I had like, I, it, man, it, it looked pretty bad. It looked like 10 or 15 on my hand, on uh, my arm. Uh, so yeah, definitely the bug spray is something you need up here. All right, so on the way back down, here's some of these wildflowers. We were, <laughs> I guess I just should have been looking a little more closely uh, on the way up. I was so concentrated on just getting up that, that I didn't really literally stop to smell the roses. So yeah, look at this. They're, they're, they're definitely pretty. Lots of nice wildflowers here. Again, we're just a little bit below the Eagle Peak uh, kind of saddle. And now, actually, here's another interesting thing. Um, on the way back, ah, what the? Gopher! You see that gopher just run in front of me or something? <laughs> That's funny! He must have a little gopher hole in here. Oh yeah! Check it out! There's this little gopher burrow. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Um, but anyway, okay, on the way back down, there is apparently uh, another little trail that- Oh! There's another one! <laughs> this is hilarious! This is Gopher Central! Look! Another- more gopher holes. That is funny, funny, funny. Um, anyway, uh, let's see. There's another trail you can take. Uh, so this is the one we came up on, but there's a small little, I guess, uh, alternate parallel trail here off to the left. So let's take that this time and see where it goes. Oh, and there's another crazy gopher. This is awesome. Pretty. Well. Alright, so let's walk back to the main parking lot from the trailhead. So here we are going across the suspension bridge. And actually, if you look up here, you'll see, I'll try to zoom in. That's where we were. That's Eagle Peak right up there. So it's kind of fun. 
and we'll see that it really is just about a five or six minute walk back to the parking lot but since you probably don't want to see me just doing that I'll speed this up by four times to make it a little bit shorter um, in the meantime maybe to give you something to stare at I'll show you some of the stats from the watch that I recorded as you can see here is the path um, as you can see it's a little bit different than what the map has marked as a trail I guess that's probably due to GPS error um, also, I think that's why I got a little confused up at the top, and I thought that this extra trail was actually something that you could walk on, um, and it was a second trail, but really it isn't. I wasn't able to find that, so really it's just one way up and one way down, it seems like. But uh, as you can see, it's a pretty reasonable elevation gain, as we discussed. You start out about 3,000, you end around 6,000, so it's about a 3,000 uh, foot vertical gain. And you do get your heart working pretty good. As you can see here, near the top sections, I was going, yeah, 140, 150 beats per minute. So not too shabby. So overall, it was a really good hike. Lots of bugs. Uh, bring a partner, and I think you'll have a lot of fun. All right, so here we are back at the Longmire Wilderness Information Center. So... Um, that was it. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if so, I also hope you'll consider subscribing to the channel. Surprisingly, if you just scroll a little ways down and click on that subscribe button, it really does help me continue making these videos. Um, you can also contribute uh, to support the channel via Patreon, and the great thing about that is 100% of the contributions the channel receives via Patreon is going to be donated and directed towards supporting science, engineering, and adventures for K-12 uh, kids and young adults. So, uh, with that being said, I think this is probably uh, a good time to sign off. Um, remember, the new videos come out every Monday, so I hope I'll catch you at one of those future discussions and we can all learn something new together. So, until then, uh, I think I'm going to sign off. Talk to you later. Bye.